There's no other way to put this. Tandem Wilson trailers are here. Unfortunately, there's no trailer hitch on the back. But that's never stopped us before. I'm gonna show you how to make a road train. Phoenix, pull this one's for you. So we've got new mods for Farming Simulator 19, one of which is the Wilson Pace Setter Super B. Now the Super B, let's jump in here, is a 60,000 liter tipper set. These are two 30,000 liter tippers. And you look in here you're like, well, I could unload one, I can unload the other, I can close them individually. But when you go to unload, well, it just drops the first one. Go to the back and drop it. Then you could pull forward and the trailer is attached, which makes backing these up super easy. So you can buy a bunch of these and hook them all together. Also, if you just want a 30,000 liter tipper, you can do it and sell the front one. You can do both of those things. Check it out. Look at that. Look at that. that that's something else. That is just something else. Now, again, all you got to do is buy a bunch of these and hook them all up together. Just start backing them in one after another. Yo, there is an issue though. And uh, oh yeah, we've got the 60,000 liter one on the very back, just cause we can. Here's the only thing about this. You end up with a bunch of leftover tippers sitting around. So you'll have to figure out what to do. You can sell these separately. So if you wanna buy the set and you wanna put a bunch of them together, if you wanna buy, you know, here we've got four put together, plus the 60,000 liter one in the very back. If you wanna do that, you totally can. Just use your imagination, go wild with it. But again, you're gonna be stuck with one set of tippers that's just hanging out. Where are you gonna find these? Well, you can either go to Wilson and Brands or you go to Tools, Trailers, and then you have to go all the way. There it is right there. Rim color, you can go all kinds of stuff. See, we've got stainless steel, zinc, chrome, new silver, white, white pearl, and gunmetal. Main color, white, stainless steel, black, gunmetal, and pewter. And design color, any color you want. Change the top of them pink, baby. That's all it is. $80,000 to get you both of these together. $40,000 each, but you have to buy them together. You cannot buy these separate, which does stink, but it's okay. Because like I said, you could just drop the back one, sell it by itself, get a little bit of your money back. You're going to spend some, but it's so cool. So it's essentially two tippers that you have to buy together but you can make a cool road train, a really cool road train. Good luck not getting stuck though. We've got another one as well. We've got another semi truck. We have the SX heavy pack update. Now this is not just the heavy truck anymore. This is heavy pack going to trucks. And you're gonna see now we've got two of them. We have the SX heavy truck, which has not had any changes. Or we have the SX heavy IT runner. You thought the other one was big? No, this one doesn't even fit in frame. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Main color, whatever you want. Room color, whatever you want. Design color, whatever you want. These are the chrome options. So go super chrome with these. Will Brands, you've got Trailer Borg or Lizard. So we do have a Trailer Borg option on these. Will Setup is going to be standard no matter what you do. Engine Setup. We've got two different engines. You go with eight by eight, with eight by eight extra power, which gives you 875, <clears throat> 875 horsepower. Uh, not that it matters. It costs $195,000, which compared to our other IT runners is the most expensive one, but it's the coolest looking one. Come on. We've got an update to the Slurry Tanker 14 with injector. This has just changed some colors around, that's it. So the tools, slurry tanks all the way to the end. And what you're gonna find here is your Lizard Slurry Tank 14 and Slurry Injector at two and a half uh, meters, or you can use it by itself for 19 meters. Now, configurations before we couldn't change anything. Now we have yellow and orange, and we'll set up standard and orange. And for the Slurry Injector, we have yellow and green pipes so either one you're good to go here we've got the tall d14 turns out it's not a tank after all told you <laughs> well we've got we got two different uh, trailer configuration configurations here uh, and they kind of go with the lizard truck a little bit look at that look at that yeah and then we've got one right here with a dolly i was like well dj i don't i don't remember that dolly being in game yeah because it's not the dolly is brand new right here 
Lizard Toldy 14 Dolly Rim Color. You do orange, red, or white main color. You can go dark green, dark blue, or black. Wheel setup, we have the same wheel setup we're used to seeing. Quite a few different things in there. And if you want the trailers, go into trailers, and then you're just going to have to scroll. we got a bunch of trailers right now. My advice try and find a mouse and plug it in or something. Here we go, right here. The Toldy 14, 25,365 bucks holds literally everything. Main colors, you do the same thing, blue, black, or green. Rim color, same thing, orange, red, or white. And design color, orange, red, or dark orange. Configuration, go left side tip or right side tip. And wheel setup's exactly the same. So what we've done is I've gone for one that kind of matches the lizard truck. And I've stuck a fifth wheel on the lizard truck. And then we've gone with one by itself. Unfortunately, super annoyingly, so we'll take this off. I have not been able to get this to attach to the truck. I think it's too low. Now let's see if we can get it to do it now. Nope, it does not attach to the truck. So I'm a little bit confuzzled and slightly irritated. They missed out on a, a huge benefit of using this truck of not being able to hook up there. Also, you cannot hook a bunch of these together either. They missed that point too, which does stink. There is no trailer hitch on the back of these. It does stink, but it is what it is. We've also got quite a few different implements today. Uh, we've These are just kind of different versions of stuff we already have in game. We have the Limkin Sapphire 8. This is going to be in Cedars. And of course, boom, 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 boom. About as far right as you can, right there. Three meters does pretty much the exact same thing as a Kuhn Cetera 3000, but it's a Lemkin. So if you like Lemkin, there you go. Next, we have the Case IH Plow. This is going to be in plows. We're going to bump over to it. This is not the case that you guys are used to seeing. Three meter working width, seven miles per hour, 180 horsepower required. It's not very heavy. So if you have a tractor that's exactly 180 horsepower, but small, it's probably gonna be just fine. I recommend using the case uh, maximum. Maximum probably gonna be a little low. I'd go with the 7200 series. Design, you go standard, two or three. That's gonna change the case logo right there. So case international 14 or IH 1014 or international 14 whatever you want to go with 10,000 bucks if you change anything doesn't cost anything so ten thousand dollars to get a virtually straight three meter plow not too bad also in plows we have the coon veramaster 153 four dash one four plus one rather right there bang boom two and a half meter plow nothing crazy nothing special twenty four thousand dollars and you can flip it next here we've got a disc arrow from vaderstat very cool little, little piece of kit right here. We're gonna go down into disc arrows and you're gonna find it right here. Top down 500, 69,000 dollars. Five meter working with again, 10 miles per hour. And uh, nothing too crazy, nothing too different about it. It just is what it is, kind of neat. Right here, we've got the Agrimass BMSP. You're gonna find these in different places. So one, you're gonna go over here in the weeders and you could change stuff up you can go design on the back or no you go mode mulch harrow or mode weeder so either one and then attachers yes or no rather or sewing sections so if you're not going to use a sewer on the back of it don't worry if you are going to use a sewer you're going to need that now where do we get the sewer at because it's not in there with it is it oh it's in cedars you're going to find it here in cedars right there it's going to cost you about 7900 bucks you can go with the agrimass at 30 the 40 which i have yet to be able to figure out what the difference is between the two probably capacity and then we have the agrimass bm 75 so it takes away that three point hitch right there so there is that and here is our little rig our little setup that we've got going on it's a cool little rig what we can do is we can plant grass we can plant, oh gosh, we'll have, to go, we'll have to go back and take a look at it. Let's see, hang on. I know there's quite a few little little oddities. So yeah, grass, cover crop, and canola. Very interesting. Canola with this little guy. Kind of cool though, isn't it? Pretty cool. We've also got a weight, and uh, I got to cheat here for a second because I can't get this weight to actually stay upright. There we go. So this is self-made 800 kilogram weight. I know you guys aren't very excited about a new weight. Uh, one thing that is kind of cool about this, I guess, if you're using 800 kilogram weights and you want something that looks kind of different, kind of interesting, 
You're going to find it right here. It's got a blue look to it. But when you go around in different light, it kind of changes into like a purple, a little bit of a red. Yeah, there you see it. That's pretty cool. That's something about it. It's neat. 800 bucks. It's pretty cheap. So if you like it, cool. If you don't like it, it is what it is. We've also got some placeables. It looks like I think we've got four or five different ones. We're going to check these out. First up, we have the galvanized gates. So you're going to find these in placeables, decorations, and then bump over to it. We have a four meter and a five meter. Both cost exactly the same. No customization to it whatsoever. You just come up to it, open them up. Just like that. Here we have the bunched firewood. This is gonna be found in decorations as well. Bunch of firewood, 50 bucks. Can't do anything with it. It's just for decoration only. It is solid, so you can't drive through it or anything like that. Not too bad, I am digging it. Over here, we have the placeable ramp by Mapper's Paradise. Now this one's gonna be found in miscellaneous. There it is, Mapper's Paradise. $8,000 for this. You can place it however you want. Now what we're gonna do is turn on our help window. Come up to it and hit B on our Xbox controller, and it's going to say ramp up. There you go. Now it will stop you at the top. There's gonna to be no jumping these, which stinks. But what's really cool is it comes up, boop, hit that, and you can dump wherever you like. And if you don't need it, drop it back down and the entire thing folds down flat, flush, with the ground. I've come through and tried to get stuck on it. I can't get stuck on it. So that is really cool. Let's go and open that back up. We also have another placeable right here. This right here is a BGA. Yeah, this is a BGA. It's a little BGA, but it's a BGA nonetheless. This one's going to be found in miscellaneous as well. If you guys have played the horse map, you'll know that the BGA that you can buy on that map is in there. And again, the same thing right here it says it's a small 32 kilowatt BGA. It's intended to use the silage surplus or animal remains meaningful. There you go. It's tiny. It's so small. I mean, it very, very small in comparison to other things. Again, you'd put everything in there and then you get your digestate from there. Very easy, very straightforward. It's really cool too. I like this. I'm probably going to place quite a few of these down because I have ideas for these. Something else that we've got right here, we have a placeable large cow pasture. You're gonna find this in animal pens and then roll over right there, $350,000, you hold 200 cows. Does all the normal stuff that you normally would. However, it's got a picture of a, a tree in the mod and there are no trees in the mod. I'm not irked, not upset, just disappointed. We can open up and we have uh, kind of, well offset a little bit, but little ways in and out of here if you guys want to come through which you will have to because the water is inside the pen and you got a little waste basket place to sit right there kind of neat kind of cool otherwise everything's exactly the way you would expect it to be from the front here's where you've got your food over here's where you get your slurry right here's where you buy them so can we open this door door does not open manure right there and let's see if we can hunt around for the milk. Ah, I see it right here. Here's our milk. So very cool. I like this mod. I like it a whole lot. Let's take a look and let's compare it. Large cows, 200. It's going to cost you 300,000. And this one costs you 350,000. So if you're okay spending a little bit and you just want a custom place, this is where you'll do it. We also got two maps today. One is a new map. The other one is an update. Right now, we are on Giants Island 09. This is from FarmSim 09. It says, welcome to Giants Island, completely remastered for Farming Simulator 19. Experience the new beginnings. Welcome back to the map for the Farming Simulator 09. Pure nostalgia. So it's completely the same as the original. Environment texture similar to FS09, reworked buildings for better visual effects, ambient sound similar to Farming Simulator 2009, brightness compared to FS09, yeah, we can tell, uh, cargo boat traffic in the sea, all farm buildings are placeables, yes they are, but unfortunately you can't buy them. Also, says many buildings and placeable objects are on the map, each of the 35 fields has missions. New transport missions with FS09 pallets. Very cool. Personalized characters. 
and many other little things to discover. Have fun with Giants Island. Full power shift. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, there's a lot going on with this map. Unfortunately, I was trying to fly around, and this is what my fly mod does. <laughs> it gives you like that. It's like a zoom feature. Looks terrible. <laughs> so I can't get a good picture on this one. Regardless, got a really, really cool place right here. If you guys want to do some fun, nostalgic play, it's on Farming Simulator 19, and it is official. It's a Giants thing. Ah, oh, yeah. We've also got an update to Mercury Farms. Now, with Mercury Farms, we've got quite a few things that have been changed to give us a little hand. Says change all says fixed poplar bells from disappearing when entering the sawmill area. Fixed the cow and pig manure leaking through the walls. Fixed an issue with the three door sheds placeable. Replaced US building for better performance and hopefully slot count. Added option to hide all removable fences and hedges at the general maintenance hut. Round behind the vehicle shop, sell grains, grain sale. Check this out. So it's not that, it's this little building right here. It says general maintenance. Come to us as hide removable fences. Now, give it a second because frame rates are gonna drop. So this is gonna happen for about 10 seconds. So I've been holding, there we go. And now all the removable fences should have been moved. Oh, it looks so naked without it all now. Look at that. Look at that. They're all gone. All the fences, all the hedges, it's all gone now. Oh, it's weird. I'm not sure if I like that or not. But the great thing is, and this is what's really cool, is if you don't like that, let's say for whatever reason you do it and you're like, oh man, and I really, really, really want to get those back. All you got to do, come up here, show removable fences. Now again, it's going to glitch for a second and that's normal. There we go and hop out of here and they're all back. But what's really cool is if we can bump over, there's a couple fences around that we have removed, like here, for example. And whether we show or hide, they are still gone because we remove those. Ignore that. This is a previous game save. I gotta, re I gotta re, uh, reload in all that manure. But nonetheless, it's all still here. But if you want to get rid of it all, you can just go back, hit that button again. So cool, so awesome. Also, it added a fuel tanker in the miscellaneous section for buying and selling diesel. So we're gonna go into tools. We're gonna miscellaneous, and right there it is, the MKD. 32 mod now it looks just like the milk tanker but instead of doing water and milk this will do water and it will also do fuel 32,000 liters of fuel main color you could do yellow red chrome stainless steel and black so yellow and red are kind of kind of uh, together with the whole fuel look so very cool very awesome if you guys want that you can and easily get it also, the dirt track leading up to the sawmill can now be owned and terraformed. So let's check that out. So since we bought the sawmill, we already own that area. So let's jump in here, let's hit that button, and let's spin around and head over here to it. Now this was something that I was really wanting to do last time we were doing a Let's Play on here. Because see, this is as far out as I could get. But if we go into painting now, we get our dirt, we can make it look like it's supposed to. Nice, Jim, that's awesome. You did a heck of a job with that one. Also adjusted various sound levels and various texture and other fixes. So guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you are digging these mods, let me know what is your favorite mod that came out today. Or if there's no mods that came out today, you're like, I don't like any of these. This is what I want. Let me know down in the comment section. Let me know what mod is it that you want to see. But with that being said, hope you guys have a great day and we will see you later. It's road train time, baby. Peace.